VLAN, or Virtual Local Area Network, allows you to create a private layer two network for secure communication between your Linodes in one data center. This means that your Linodes can talk to each other and exchange data without that traffic being exposed to the wider internet. And much like our other offerings like cloud firewall, monitoring, and built-in advanced DDoS protection, Linode's VLAN is a free network service available for all Linode customers. So should you take advantage of VLAN? Well, there are quite a few ways that you can benefit from VLANs with your cloud infrastructure. And the first is that VLAN traffic never leaves our data center. Two or more Linodes connected via a private LAN can see each other as if they were directly connected to the same physical network, and no device outside the VLAN can snoop on the traffic within it, thus increasing privacy and security dramatically. Linode's VLANs can be set up and configured easily through our Cloud Manager and through our API v4. You can create up to 10 VLANs per data center and add an individual Linode to up to three VLANs. Though keep in mind that VLANs are specific to region, meaning a Linode in Atlanta cannot connect to a VLAN in Mumbai. And finally, all network traffic across a VLAN is free. This is in contrast with a traditional setup where traffic between your Linodes would count against your monthly network transfer usage as it would be being sent across the internet. Our VLANs allow you to optimize traffic between your instances, allowing you to transmit data across segmented networks or multiple broadcast domains to reduce broadcast traffic and latency in your application. Creating a VLAN could not be simpler. First, you'll wanna make sure that your Linode is in a region that supports VLANs. This list is ever-changing, so use the documentation below to find out more. You can add your Linode to a VLAN when initially creating it, or alternatively, you may attach a Linode to a VLAN after it's been created. To attach an existing Linode to a VLAN, select your Linode that you wish to reconfigure. Then choose the Configurations tab. From here, select Edit on your default config or select Add Configuration. You can then attach the Linode to an existing VLAN or create a new one under the Network Interfaces section. Once you've connected your Linode to a VLAN, you're free to manage your device as you see fit. Modifying your slash etc slash host file on many distributions will allow you to assign a local IP address to a domain name. For example, if you have a web application that sends emails to new users when they sign up, you could configure the Linode running the application to point to mail.linodians.net. And then on the same machine, you can modify your slash etc slash host file to point mail.linodians.net to the VLAN IP address of the mail server. This would allow your app to send all mail traffic over the VLAN to your mail server. While that's one example, the possibilities are endless. So what do you think? How will you use VLANs? And would your cloud infrastructure benefit from a VLAN? Check out the documentation to learn more.